How would you like a job with low pay, no benefits, and the responsibility for out-of-control students? It's easy to see why schools have a serious shortage of bus drivers. Tonight, you're going to get an inside look at what these drivers are dealing with. It's creating a shortage so severe, school officials are afraid students and driver safety is at risk. Channel 4's Ann McCloy has the story for the six. When you consider this is a day in the life of a bus driver. You may start to understand why so many in the mid state have given up. It's, it's like it can go from zero to ballistic just in a matter of a few seconds. Out of these six mid-state school districts, these five are short bus drivers. At last check, Metro Nashville needed 40, Williamson County 17, and 15 needed in Wilson County. The shortage has become such a problem in Wilson County. The director of transportation is even taking kids to and from school to keep routes on time. <laughs> This is one reason the transportation director says he's having such a hard time hiring drivers. Surveillance video taken from school buses in Wilson County shows kids jumping, banging their heads on the bus, fighting. The district has captured at least 700 incidents like this on buses this year. And there are other challenges. Pay is probably not where it needs to be. And insurance. Bus driver positions are part time in most districts, which in Wilson County means no benefits and $12.55 an hour to start. The county is now offering a $900 bonus incentive to hopefully attract more new drivers like Patty Campbell. I enjoy my job. Until they get more drivers, the district is ordering larger buses to handle the load. Ann McCloy, Channel 4 News. Wilson County's transportation director says the problem is so widespread he wants the state to help districts by providing some sort of incentive to entice good drivers. We did reach out to the state education commissioner but did not hear back by news time.